Hello everyone, today I want to talk about element number 84, polonium. So here's a preview on polonium. Polonium is part of the oxygen elements. Its symbol is PO, its atomic number is 84, its atomic weight is 208.98, its color is silvery, its standard state is solid at 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit, its classification is metallic. Here we have polonium. I am a radioactive fellow, discovered by the famous scientist Marie Curie. I was her first new element, and she named me after homeland, Poland. Well, that's a heartwarming tale, but aside from being used to heat spacecraft, there's little that's kind or cozy about me. I have a reputation for being a secret weapon that's used for killing spies. Its date of discovery was in 1898. Its density is 9.196 grams per centimeter cube. Its melting point is 254 degrees Celsius or 489 degrees Fahrenheit, 962 degrees Celsius or 1764 degrees Fahrenheit. Here we have Marie Curie. Marie Curie was a Polish and naturalized French physicist and a chemist who conducted pioneering research on radioactivity according to Wikipedia. She was born November 7th in 1867, Warsaw, Poland. She died July 4th, 1934 in Passy, France. Her spouse was Marie Curie, seen here. Marie Curie was a French physicist, a pioneer in crystallography, magnetism, piezoelectricity, and radioactivity according to Wikipedia. Here we have 1814 CE, Europe. Here we have 1898, Europe. And here we have 1919, Europe. A rare and very dangerous metal, polonium is a powerful source of deadly radioactivity. It has been used in the triggers for atomic bombs. Its atomic mass is 209. Its state is solid. Its discovery is 1898 by Marie Curie. Here we have uranite, an ore of polonium. This is for reference and educational purposes. So polonium, a radioactive silvery gray or black metallic element of the oxygen group, or group 16 in the periodic table, the first element to be discovered by radiochemical analysis, polonium was discovered in 1898 by Puri and Marie Curie who were investigating the radioactivity of a certain pitch blend, a uranium ore. Here we have pitch blend. Formerly pitch blend is a radioactive uranium rich mineral and ore with a chemical composition that is largely UO2, but because of oxidation typically contains variable proportions of U3O8. Radioactive decay of the uranium causes the mineral to contain oxides of lead and trace amounts of helium, according to Wikipedia. The very intense radioactivity not attributable to uranium was ascribed to a new element, named by them after Marie Curie's home in Poland. The discovery was announced in July 1898. Polonium is extremely rare. Even in pitch blend, 1,000 tons of the ore must be processed to obtain 40 milligrams of polonium. Its abundance in the Earth's crust is about one part in 10 to the power of 15. It occurs in nature as a radioactive decay product of uranium, thorium, and actinum. The half-lives of its isotopes range from a fraction of a second up to 103 years. The most common natural isotope of polonium, polonium-210, has a half-life of 138.4 days. Here we have polonium-218, polonium-214, polonium-210. The half-life of polonium-218 is 3.1 minutes. The half-life of polonium-214 is 0.1 milliseconds. And the half-life of polonium-210 is 138 days or 138.4 days to be more precise. This is the most common form. Here we have radiation and radioactivity, if you want to screenshot that and learn more about radiation and radioactivity. So polonium is usually isolated from byproducts of the extraction of radium from uranium minerals. In the chemical solution, pitch blend ore is treated with hydrochloric acid, HCl, which consists of the elements hydrogen and chlorine. And the resulting solution is treated with hydrogen sulfide, which consists of the elements hydrogen and sulfur to precipitate polonium monosulfide, or POS, along with other metal sulfides, such as that of bismuth, or Bi2S3, which resembles polonium monosulfide closely in chemical behavior, though it is less soluble. The precipitation of the mixture of sulfides concentrates the polonium in the more soluble fraction, while the bismuth accumulates in the less soluble portions. The difference in solubility is small, however, and the process must be repeated many times to achieve a complete separation. Purification is accomplished by electrolytic deposition. It can be produced artificially by bombarding bismuth or lead with neutrons or with accelerated charged particles. Chemically, polonium resembles the elements tellurium and bismuth. Two modifications of polonium are known, an alpha and a beta form of which are stable at room temperature and possesses metallic characteristics. The fact that its electrical conductivity decreases as temperature increases places polonium among the metals rather than the metalloids or nonmetals. Because polonium is highly radioactive, it disintegrates to a stable isotope of lead by emitting alpha rays, which are streams of positively charged particles, it must be handled with extreme care. When contained in such substances as gold foil, which prevent the alpha radiation from escaping, polonium is used industrially to eliminate static electricity generated by such processes as paper rolling, the manufacture of sheet plastics, and the spinning of synthetic fibers. It is also used on brushes for removing dust from photographic film and in nuclear physics as a source of 
alpha radiation. Mixtures of polonium with beryllium or other light elements are used as sources of neutrons. Polonium can be contained within gold and used to remove static and dust. It is also used as a source of alpha radiation. The Lone Ranger atomic bomb spin thyroscope ring was offered as a kick serial premium in 1947. 15 cents back then, today these sell for more than $100 as proof of how different attitudes towards radiation and the bomb once were. Here we have spin thyroscopes from the 1940s to 1960s often contain polonium sources. The foil inside an anti-static brush contains polonium sealed under a thin gold layer over a silver base. Polonium is also used again as a source of neutrons. So that was polonium explained in 15 minutes or less. If you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, remember this is for educational purposes only. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a great one.